I've been having some issues uh, over the months and years. Um, the Lord has helped me. I prayed self-deliverance over myself. Uh, I pray a form of that like twice a day, every day. Um, cool. And I even, uh, I, the way that they come out of me, the foul spirits, uh, is I burp them out. Um, like even, I've even had like thoughts and then when I have the thought, I rebuke the thought. I uh, repent for it. I resist it, reject it in the name of Jesus. And then shortly thereafter, I'll burp. That's interesting. I like that. Uh, and um, the Lord even gave me a revelation about um, casting down imaginations, which is very interesting. Uh, for, for months, he was letting me, every time I would have this thought, which I, I saw in one of your videos, you talk about, um, you talk about how the enemy tries to talk to you and puts these thoughts on you and how we have to discern between whether the the thought is from our self, if it's from a, a foul spirit or if it's from the Holy Ghost, right? right. And uh, so, you know, if I'm having a thought about lust, I know that's not from the Holy Ghost. Come on. Uh, so then what I was doing was I was saying, well, I bind up that thought. I cast it down in the name of Jesus and Father, I repent for that. I don't want to have that thought. And yeah. then what would happen is the enemy would attack me to where uh, these thoughts were coming at me like every 10 seconds, every 20 seconds, every minute. It would just keep going on and on. And I would, I would continue to fight. I would continue to battle these things. And maybe after months of doing this, it, it had to be well over six months, I think. The Holy Spirit one day just started explaining something to me. He even showed me a vision. I saw this vision of me on one side of a street and it was a two lane road. There was cars there and on the other side of the street was a demon and the demon was throwing rocks at me. And the Holy Spirit was showing me that what you're doing is fine. You can keep blocking those rocks. That's good. You're supposed to be doing that. But if you bind the demon, if you say I bind the demon as behind that thought, the demon can't throw those thoughts at you anymore. And then you're not fighting the thoughts all day long. And so then as, so, as soon as I started to do that, it, it was like next level. It changed for me. Uh, but of course, the enemy now, they do a different tactic to me. They do something different. But uh, what would happen was I would bind the demon. I would bind the demon behind the thought. And I cast it to the abyss or the pit or wherever the Lord would tell me to send it to his feet for judgment, whatever. And then those thoughts would stop. I mean, pretty much right away. It wouldn't be a thought every 10 seconds or a thought every minute. But now it's almost like uh, they're bringing multiple, there must be multiple demons there. There must be like 10 of them coming at me. <clears throat> because I'm sure that maybe through you gentlemen doing deliverance, you've noticed that when you pray over certain people, there might be five demons of masturbation in that person. And just because you get one out, there's four more there. And then the you know, the, the, because that can happen. Uh, I know it can because the Lord has had me pray deliverance over people and there can be more than one type of demon in there. Uh, so why I'm sitting, why I want to sit for deliverances today is because I believe that uh, there comes a point when even in your own Christian life, you need someone else's faith to come with your faith because of what the scripture says. The scripture says that, uh, if any of you uh, touching anything they shall ask, if, the, if two of you touch anything they shall ask on earth, um, you know, if you ask that in prayer, it, it shall be done for you. Yeah, it also says, if uh, confess your sins to one another, that you might be healed. Right, Amen. you're right. What's it all about? I mean, wh when do you go up there and just confess your sins to a bunch of people? Right, you know, I don't. Uh, that 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 isn't something we do in a normal thing. But if we want to, if there's an overload, then then bring in someone else to help out. Yes. Well, you tonight. We, we, you know, we we just kind of have a, uh, at least in our theories of uh, of uh, deliverance, is that we try to get down to the roots. That we yes, use sir. The roots, then we it, it gets something uh, that's unconscious. I mean, we've all had roots that I've never known how I could dig up in there. Once you get the root, 
we believe that, that, that then you can get the rest of the tree. But if you don't get the root, you can, you might hit a bunch of them on that. And so that's our goal is to find the root and uh, try to find it in each person. And that's what the brothers are for, you know. Yes, sir. Yeah. I, I agree. I, there's, a, yeah. there's a verse that says, the prayers of a righteous brother is powerful and produces wonderful results. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> There's a I, in community to be one in the spirit. Because in essence, 99% uh, of the time, even though we're going into discernment, we only land up cutting what's above the surface. Hmm. We clean it. We get this instant discernment, because instant discernment because our free will starts putting it at comfort but then we don't realize there's still the roots underneath that we've got to dig out and literally destroy them and that's where we all come on in the spirit and we will find them for you we will break them release them from you and you will be free i appreciate that because i think whatever it is it's deep because i've been i've been battling against stuff i mean i could uh my opinion based on my experience with the Holy Spirit, uh, he allows me to feel the demons and I can hear them. So uh, what happens to me is even when I'm around people or when I'm watching a video or if I is, um, I start to feel like uh, I can feel that I'm being attacked. I don't know how to explain. It's like I'm a submarine. Like when you're in a submarine, you can feel the depth charges that come down, but you can't see them because the submarine's not made of glass. Yeah, And I can hear the pinging. For me, it's my ears. They start to ring. And the louder they get, it's like the closer or the more demons are around me. Um, even when I've been around people, if I go near to a person that has demons on them, or I can hear it. I've, if I've walked past a kiosk that has Catholic idols sitting on it, it my ear just goes, whoo as I walk past it after I get past it, it it goes away um so there's times when I'm under a spiritual attack where my ears are just ringing for hours and I've prayed and I try to bind up all the demons but it just it just well, continues. Well, well, look here's what we try to do is this you know you can cast out demons without repentance but we believe we can do this too but we believe it, uh, when you start going to with the repentance and the breaking of it, you break their legal holes yes, and sir. you have more of a chance of cutting the root out and then keeping them out. But if you just cast out a demon of a person and he's not repentant of the demon, uh, the demon t to me, he comes back in. Straight away. Um, uh, he has the legal right just to come back in, and, and uh, so uh, that's that's our goal. So that's what we're going to work on today, and we'll, we'll just kind of go through this whole thing with you. And it might be a little more of and you may be uh, you say, "Well, I've done this." Well, just just follow us through because this is a program we feel that we've had pretty good success with. Yes, sir. You know, and uh, and you know we we probably we probably don't get. Uh, 100% free, but we're probably up there, I would say, be honest, finishing with the people at the end of everybody, probably 95% of the people say, hey, man, we, thank you so much. And probably even higher than that. But, but it, so they realize they have got free now, but now they have to implement this stuff to stay free. Yes, sir that they have to implement stuff. So we're, uh, we're here, if you've got 10 demons you're back, tonight we're gonna try to knock off eight. And you may have to knock off two more yourself. But we, but if, if they're ganging up, let's, let, we'll gang up on them and, and, and br break you free in this stuff. And then, and then uh, you can see the freedom. Thank so you, sir. That's our goal, so. Yes, sir.